Welcome everyone to a Nightmare Frame boss battle tutorial. If you're currently struggling with the last two stages, we're going over them today in stage 9 and stage 10. Now I won't be going too much in detail about what I did to beat stage 9. Instead I'll just go over kind of general tips to being the boss, which is Cornelia's Nightmare Frame, the Gloucester, although it's heavily damaged. I'll get to that in a different video. Anyhow, so here's my current team. Nothing really crazy here. I'm using Mary Bell because she's just really good because she damages on placement and also her gauge increases every time she destroys different Nightmare Frame units. I also got a video for that coming up at some point. So here, I'm going to talk about the general tips for being the boss. Now one thing you should know is that the boss will always go after the, the latest unit you place. See how it went after Jeremiah right there? That's just how it works. It also won't attack units that are cloaked. You can't, however, stun it. You can't. I don't think push works either in the uh, blow away. So you only can cloak, and that doesn't even work against the boss. It just said it... Well, it works against the boss because it can't see your units. That's, that's what I meant to say. And here I'm just putting out units to cause damage. Range works best. You have this nice little square area and you can move. If you have the uh, float units, you can move them around like I have the Gwen there. And of course the fly enable the Landslot. But the whole point here is you're simply just... You want to put your units in a situation where they can take out the boss, do lots of damage, while cloaking your units so the boss can't attack them. And eventually what you want to do is get a situation where the boss... Like, see how it's just kind of sitting here? I'm not, I'm not taking too much advantage of it, but you got to create a situation like that where the boss will just kind of stand in one place and then you just keep pelting it to death or bombarding whatever word you want to use with your units. Now you can kind of force the issue if you do enough damage to the boss or he'll just kind of, or she will just kind of just sit there. It depends on the situation. You'll see it later on in this gameplay and of course in stage 10. But that's really kind of it and the more damage you can put on the better. It's also recommended to use a faction for this because Taizo is really good with the Black Knights. Mirabelle works well with the uh, Britannian forces, so that can work as well. But it's good to stick with one faction because they kind of all work together. Like, Black Knights just have so many powerful units that boost their abilities that it's probably best just to go with them. But it's up to you, of course. Britannia is not bad either. I mean, there's tons of replays of people uh, abusing the new Suzaku. And yeah, it's, he's pretty broken. But still, we're going with uh, Black Knights here. Now, I kind of remove all my units at some point because once uh, Lucian and C2 are cloaked, here is that the boss can't do anything because, well, he can't attack, it can't see anyone. You know, like, like John Cena, you can't see me. So, you have C2 here just spamming her attack against the boss. Now, unfortunately, I only have C2 pelting the boss. I could have, I was smarter, I could have put Cecile by Lelouch and had both of them cloaked. So the boss, you know, because I get a double attack on the boss, so instead it's just C2 attacking it, which is fine. But this is the general state you want to get in the game in general. You want to get the boss unable to move because everyone's cloaked. Now, unfortunately, the enemies are coming close to the uh, last spot there, and I only have two. I, only, I mean, I have two already to reach the end. So, if three more get there, we lose. So, I had to put Maribel to kind of make this go a little faster. But see how the boss wants to go attack Maribel? That's what happens also. Once you've decloaked or a new unit is placed, it'll immediately attack that unit because it's been sitting there for so long. So, you got just don't forget that when you're doing this. But yeah, so I have Jeremiah attacking all the enemies there, and then Maribel gets killed. Which is unfortunate, and then C2 takes out the boss, and there you go. That was stage 9. Pretty basic stuff. This score was really bad, but again, I wasn't really trying to beat it with skill. Just trying to get through it. Here's my team for stage 10. Pretty basic stuff. The key here is I use mostly Black Knight units. Like I said before, they're kind of the best and cheapest to place. And also easiest to acquire. So you can't really ask for much more than that. Now here, the boss left her column. I moved her away. Again, that's more proof of the fact that the boss will go after the latest unit you place. You can use this to your advantage by either having him go to your current placement or to protect your unit. So see, I have, I have Taizo. He'll go after him instead of Mario or Colin, which I think is okay. But then again, I wouldn't mind having Mario or Colin there to do some extra damage. I put Colin on Colin because she boosts her skill or her attack part 35%. I used uh, Jeremiah there. If you don't have Jer, I mean, if you don't have uh, the other Colin, you can always use Nagisa instead. The MT is great. He does double damage against Britannia forces. And that column rank 3 is the strongest unit the Black Knights have to offer in terms of attack power, so that's why I'm using her. And then eventually I'm going to put in uh, Cecile in there as well, because she is a unit that has really high, not high attack, I mean pretty good high attack, but also her skill just increases very quickly, especially on placement. That's why she's there. I have Ossian to the left, because he's going to defend that area for a while. Eventually I will de uh, withdraw him when I have a good setup here. See, the boss will eventually come back to that area. And when he does, then he'll kind of stop for a while. Then you can cloak your units and then take out the boss in a very slow, methodical manner. So I'm going to move Asahina. I don't want him getting in the way. Because the boss will eventually attack the nearest non-cloaked unit. 
but since Sasin is gone, there are no more uncloaked units. Now this is kind of tricky here, but I put in Taizo, I put in Rakshada, and then I also put in Colin. This timing has to be perfect. If you're even off by a couple seconds, the boss will immediately attack the units. So I got lucky there. Every unit got placed upon no problems, and I have Lelouch working with the other units. If you don't have Lelouch, obviously D-Tard works as well. Or even Rock Shot, just depends on what you're working with. You could also, of course, use more units besides the ones I have. You can, don't have to use a seal either. You could technically use a C2 or other powerful units like that. But I'm using these because I like them. And of course, the seal is great. So yeah, you just kind of sit here for the next couple seconds, just pelting the boss. Colin's pretty powerful. Again, just like strongest attack power, melee attack power of any Nightmare Frame unit. And only rank 3, which is pretty cool. So yeah, everyone just keeps attacking the boss over and over again. And eventually, the boss will go down. Now what's nice is because I have Colin on the right side protecting not, not only going to the boss, but she also protects the blue zone. So you got a little double uh, bonus there. And the boss dies, and that's it. If you have any questions about Station, let me know in the comments section below. And don't forget to subscribe for more awesome content. Yeah.